We have four kids, so I think that's the most funnest part where everyone starts enjoying watching our kids scream in the background. You'll hear Jonas sometimes yelling at the kids. My name is Jodin Tao. I am the co-owner of Love LLC. And my name is Panat Tao, the co-owner of Love LLC. We offer photography, event decoration, boutique shop, and then the selfie studio, all in one stop. When you walk into Lava LC, the first thing you will see is a boutique, and I think our goal was to make it, when you walk in, you don't know what to expect behind the curtains, and I think that's what makes it unique um, with all the different types of services, photography and event decorating. And with the selfie studio, it makes Love Owl seem a different experience than any other boutique you will go to. We do seasonal changes to our selfie studio, so every few months we'll change up the studio. This month is Halloween month, so we have a scary theme. We work very hard on it. As far as what Love LLC means and how we came up with the name for the business was because everything happened in February. You know, February is like the month of love, you know. You got Valentine's, that's the month that my wife and me got married. Yes, <laughs> we bought our first house in February right? too. We decided, you know, why, why don't we incorporate that all into our business name so it actually has a meaning. A husband and wife team, that's what we are, that's what we pride ourselves on is Love LLC is a husband and wife team. Before we even started Love LLC, I started photography back in 2013. People just knew me as Pana Portraits and me being pregnant with our first kid, we used our daughter as an example and starting off photography as a hobby. And when that start picking up, we start having people like, hey, maybe you should offer it to other people too until 2016, until we had our second kid. And from there on, photography completely stopped for a while. With a one-year-old and a newborn, I just didn't have the hands to go out and take photos as much anymore. And that's where Jordan started coming in, like, hey, you know, we, we should start doing event decoration too. Yeah, and event decoration was kind of, you know, in our background for a long time anyway. When you're doing photography, you always want to have, you know, backdrops or props and stuff. And we started collecting all these items and stuff. We're like, we can use these to, you know, do other events, so like weddings, birthday parties, uh, any event you can think of that needs decoration. We decided we can incorporate this into our business as well. When the event decorations start going pretty well, we have photography start going to as well. As we have our third child, COVID hit and we completely just stopped uh, photography and event decoration. Uh, we didn't know what else to do. As we stopped those services, our mall was no longer here. We thought bringing a boutique or an online shopping experience would be a great option. And we started also at Facebook Live. And that was the first thing that everybody was like, hey, you know, this, this is actually pretty neat. This is easy shopping. Uh, we get to see people trying on how it looks like in our person. We will stay up all night and measure every sizes, every pieces, one by one, before we even go live to sell any pieces. And when the pandemic lifted, we did Mavu's first music video. She reached out for us for decoration and also as a photographer. So we were able to pick that right back off when the pandemic got lifted. And that's when I reached out to Jonah and be like, hey, Jonah, uh, we, we got something cool going on. This will be our first project, you know? And that really, you know, kickstart our, our business, our, our thinking we, after we got that gig with Ma. We built a set for her music video, and then we decided to incorporate that into our, our selfie studio. That's where the idea came from. Pana had the idea of a selfie studio. She did all the planning. I'm the guy that did all the building. He helped decorate it, I helped decorate it. And and that's when our kids start coming in the picture. They will stay up all night, so we start uh, building the selfie studios. We had each role for our kids, like, hey, you, if you help us, we'll give you guys candy. And they will help us hook up clothes, think clothes, and just just work and have fun. We, we try to make it as fun as possible for our kids. As fun as it sounds, it's never fun when you have crying kids. We, we will fight online, we will like argue, and I think that's the most funnest part where everyone starts enjoying watching our kids scream in the background. You will hear Jonas sometimes yelling at the kids, me yelling. But yeah, that, that was definitely our, our most memorable memories of, of starting up Love, Love LLC. It 
has been an amazing journey for the both of us. We met a lot of people along this journey who, who loved the idea, who came to us to just be able to experience something that we both love doing. So just keep on doing what you're doing and you're thinking about starting up, it's probably a good idea to start up now instead of, hey, you know, uh, maybe we should wait. If you have something in the back of your head that you've always wanted to try, you know, it's the time now. Now is always the right time. There is never a wrong time to try what you want to, or what your dreams are. You know, life is short. Uh, go for it. Don't wait till it's too late.